Hey y'all, N4H and H here. I want you to hear that station. Okay, that's the Summits on the Air station I just chased. He's on Mount Gleason, uh, that's out in California. And uh, what I wanted you to know about that is, oh, and I need to, let me, uh, bear with me a moment while I log him. That's W6LOR, and I forgot to, I got him logged in HRD up on the screen up on top. You've seen it before. I won't pan up there, but I need to log him over here in Soda Watch. I mean, I'll pan over there so you can see that. All right, let me go up. There we go. So on Soda Watch, there's a little, let me, let me cancel a minute and you can see it. There's his spot. And I uh, will zoom in a little more. And you can see up there on his spot, there we go. This little symbol here looks like a sheet of paper with a plus sign. All I have to do to log that contact and get my chase points for summits on the air is click that. And then it's going to pop up uh, over here. Let me move over so you can see that. You get that pop up. I'll move it over here. Oop, can't move it. All right, let's see. There we go. And I just want to make sure that I get the time entered correctly. So I worked him at 21.29. So see, I'm a few minutes, two or three minutes late here. Uh, three minutes late, logging it. Anyway, there we go, I hit submit. Everything else is filled in for me. That's what makes it easy. It already knows his summit, frequency, call sign, all that's already done for me. All right, so that's not what the video's about, but I wanted you to see a little bit of context there for what's going on as I pan back over here to the rig. So I'm going to turn off some filtering. I've had people say, well, hey, you don't really need to go down to 50 hertz or 100 hertz or, you know, well, less than 300 or 500 hertz uh, for CW. Well, okay, I'm going to turn off right here. That's my width, okay? And right now that width is on 50. Okay, there he is. Turn off my notch filter. So I turned off APF and I've turned off digital noise reduction. Turning that filter back on. Digital noise reduction. APF. Let you see the S meter over there. Who wants to try to dig him out of all of that? So here we go. Move over here so you can see digital noise reduction. I just turned it on. It's at 15. The algorithms are 1 through 15, 15 being the most aggressive. APF, look what that does. When he comes back, I'll engage the filter. I'm right now I'm on a 600 hertz filter. Now that ringing you're hearing, has to do with the fact that I'm using amp two over here because he was just that weak. He's come a little better now. Let me see. The more signal you pump through the the roofing filter and the, even the digital filter here, uh, the more of that ringing effect you're going to get. And that ringing effect is your side tone frequency. But I'm going to going to go with amp one. Just wait for him to come back. See, he's just floating in and out because of QS Baker. So I went to amp two 
But see, now I'm pushing so much signal through the filters, I'm getting that ripple effect, that ringing. So I use my notch trick. See, the manual notch helps knock that out. I've shown you that many times on the channel. See, that's much better. He's actually getting stronger now from when I worked him. That's not him. Turning off all the help. Hear him? Digital noise reduction. APF, audio peak filter. Okay, no help. When he comes back, I'll engage it all. See, I almost, I almost couldn't tell he was in there. All right, there you go. Wow, I mean, it's just amazing the tools we have available to us in these rigs. Now, I know some of the other brands of radios do not have the uh, audio peak filter and they don't have digital noise reduction that is that effective, but uh, but some do. And, um, you know I, know, I know some of the other brands don't have the contour at all, but I've shown you, told you before, you can kind of simulate what the contour filter is doing by using your manual notch filter in wide setting, okay? Now, I normally run my manual notch at the most narrow setting because I want to be able to notch out a heterodyne and not really hear a difference in, in the audio I'm listening to. But if you're in a situation where you need the effect of a contour filter scooping out that noise near the area where you're trying to pull somebody out, then um, try using your manual notch filter. Go into the menu and set it for its wide uh, setting, not narrow. So some of the other brands of radios out there do not include contour and audio peak filter. Some do, um, but Yesu definitely has it on their rigs in the you know in recent years. I mean, this radio here was designed in 2009, or I think it came out in 2009 originally. This is a 2019 model, but um, now you know. And then contour is something that. Is mainly helpful on on sideband. Has been I I have used it for CW. Uh, APF though is definitely your friend for uh, CW. If you have a rig that doesn't have a contour filter, just use your uh, manual notch filter and set it in the menu to wide. I don't like to do that, but I don't have to because I can set my manual notch to narrow. That way, when I need it to knock out a heterodyne. Narrow is going to knock it out and not affect the receive audio so much. Um, but And because I have a separate contour control in this radio, and so does the FTDX10 and the FT891, uh, the 991A, the, um, the FTDX101, um, D or MP, and the FT710 for that matter. Uh, because they do have the dedicated contour control, you can use your manual notch as a manual notch. But if you have a radio that does not have a contour control, just try your manual notch in wide mode and sweep it up and down the um, the spectrum to see if it'll help you pull out that weaker station. In this case, CW, I used audio peak filter, which boosts the frequency of your side tone to try to pull that signal even, a, um, um, you know, boost it more up out of that noise floor. Uh, and of course, I'm using digital noise reduction. I narrowed the width down to knock out the noise up and down the band. So I wanted to get the noise out of the way. The digital noise reduction also helped with that. And then, of course, when you narrow the filter, then you're left hearing, put it this way, when you eliminate the noise, you're gonna hear that ripple effect that, that it's called, it's a, or a ringing sound, and then the notch filter helped knock that out. So the, anyway, that, that was the difference of me being able to uh, pull him out earlier when I was uh, chasing him and uh, I was able to do it and got my points for it. 
All right, hey, I uh, hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the Patreon support team who helped bring you these videos. Without them, I would not continue to do this. I just wouldn't be able to justify the time and expense. So if you like this type of content and want to help out, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put it on the display. Uh, if you would, please give the video a thumbs up, a like. That helps us out with YouTube. Doesn't cost you anything. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when I upload a new video, which is a couple of weeks on average. And finally, if you would, please share the link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching, and 73 from N4H&H.